Karen Jetley Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to explain you context level or level 0 DFT. So guys, if you are system analysis design student or you are students of information systems, you must be aware of DFD. DFD stands for data flow diagram which shows us the sources and the destinations of data. Basically, it shows data in flow. So whenever a system works, like how the data flow from where it comes and ultimately where it ends up. That diagram is called as DFD. And DFD, it has different levels. Okay. The first and the topmost level of a DFD is called as context level or we call it as level zero DFD. So guys, in this video, we are going to discuss what is context level DFD. Okay, soon I'll be uploading the videos for the other levels of DFD, level one, level two, and so on. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. So guys, what is context level DFD? So guys, the context level DFD is the DFD which shows the system context, which shows the system context. What do you mean by system context? It shows the whole system as a single process and it basically tells what that system is doing and what type of data it is exchanging with the external entities. It shows entire system as a single process and it shows the different entities and what type of data is being exchanged between this system and these entities. OK, so that diagram is called as context level DFT. So guys, in this example, we are going to take a library management system. OK, so what is the context of library management system? The whole system. We will call it as LMS. The whole system is represented as a single process. Now in DFT, the processes are donated by ovals and it shows what are the different entities which use this system or interact with the system and what type of data these entities are exchanging with the system. So guys, when it comes to library management system, so that there are two main entities which interact or use this system. One is the library members. One is the library members okay the other entity is the library staff or we will call him as librarian okay now guys in dfd the processes are donated by ovals okay and the entities are donated by rectangles okay now if i show the main process the main system library management system as a single process and the different entities which are interacting with the system. Okay. And what data they are exchanging. Now I have the entities. I have the process. Now what I have to add is the data which is being exchanged between the entities and the system. Okay. So what members can do? So members, they give library card to the system. When you go to library, you show the library card and what else you show? You show the or you give the book information which you want to get issued. So we give library card and we give book info. OK, this we give to the system. This we give to the system. OK, so what system gives you back? If the book is available, the system will give you the book. You will get the book. And what else you will get? You will get the due date. Means when you have to return the book. Okay. So basically this is the data which is being exchanged between the member and the library management system. Okay. This is one thing. Now to get a book issued, you need to show the card and you need to tell the book name or give the book information. The system will give you the book which you want and it will give you the due date what is when you have to return the book okay now in case that book is not available now these are my assumptions so they can be different from library management system to management system okay obviously 
all the functionality or all the aspects cannot be covered in one single video this is for your reference i am telling you so i can get a book issued or i can reserve a book means in case the book is not available i can request them to reserve a book means whenever it comes available then i'll come and take it okay so i can reserve book okay so i can request and i can reserve a book so means what will, what do you mean by reserve a book they will note my name so the right now the book is not available so whenever the book is available they will send me a notification so then what system will do system will send me the notification means the book is available come and take it okay so guys in this example these are this is the functionality i assumed which the system will provide to the library members so there are other other things okay which i am for the time being i am ignoring so what is this no this is the entity this is the process system library management system and this is the data which is exchanged between the entities and the system members they they show the library card they give the book information the system gives him the book he gives him the due date the mem library member can reserve a book and after the book has been reserved and it is available the system will send him a notification okay so this is the basic data which is being exchanged between the member and the library management system now let us go to librarian now what is the job of librarian the job of library staff is to enter the members in the system for example there is a new member so he must be registered in the system and we issue him the library card okay so before he gets the library card someone must enter his information in the system this is for adding the member okay similarly when one new book arrives it is the job of the library staff to enter the new book in the database isn't it so all that data is exchanged between the system and the librarian okay so what he can do he can add member info he can add member info new member i joined the library my name is karan whatever my credentials he has to enter in the system okay now library ordered new books library ordered new books so what who is will add those books to the system the librarian or the library staff so add book info okay so other than this other than this what it can do is it can update the information in the system whether it is member information or it is book information okay so then update info for example some member address has changed okay some member designation has changed and so on okay he can update the information here i am writing is generally update information it can be book information or it can be member information okay then what it can do it can get the detailed reports from the system means how many members i have how many books i have which my books are due how much fine it system calculated for each member so what we call it the system can give him detailed reports okay so for the librarian this these are the functionality i assumed okay so what i get here is i get my context level dft it shows the different entities one single system as one single process library management system and the different data which is being exchanged between the entities and the system and guys note please note in context level dfd we do not show any data store we do not show any data store data stores are added at level 1 okay soon i will upload the level 1 for this example in which i will show the different data stores also so guys i hope you understand me 
ओके सो दिस इज अंटेक्स लेवल और लेवल जीरो डी एफ डी वट इट इज इट इज अ डेटा फ्लो डायग्राम विच शोज द सिस्टम कॉन्टेक्सट means what that system is doing what functionality that system is performing and what data is being exchanged between the system and the entities who are interacting with the system so what do we call it we call it as level 0 or context level dft so guys i hope you understand this so guys soon i'll upload the second part of this video that is level 1 and i will explain you how we can move from level 0 to level 1 level 2 and so on and up to maximum how many levels we can go the, all those things i'll explain in the upcoming videos so guys that's pretty much for today so guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be up uploading more it lectures or from the different topics of it like operating system system analysis and design and much more so guys all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned